Um, so uh, for those who don't know me, like everybody, my name is Mariana. Uh, I am here on behalf of um, the school inspectorate in Baca, Romania, together with my three colleagues, um, uh, Cosmina, <laughs> I forgot your name, uh, Julian and um, Ion, also known as John. Um, we, are, uh, tr we have been trying to um, uh, get a bit of inspiration from your presentations yesterday, which were great, uh, because uh, we didn't know much about uh, the, the topic uh, beforehand. So, uh, we have managed to make a presentation about sustainability and the curriculum in uh, Romania. Uh, okay. Uh, these are the main uh, lines that we're going to follow. The Romanian educational system, a brief overview. National curriculum and sustainability related competencies. The concept of green schools and the network of green schools that um, started being implemented a few years ago. And uh, some examples of extracurricular activities that uh, we um, perform during these special green weeks that uh, the government has uh, started imposing on schools. Um, so basically, yeah, we, uh, our educational system is divided, let's say, into pre-primary education, which is up to six, uh, primary education, secondary, and we said post-secondary. Of course, we have upper secondary and then uh, college, university, and so on. But this is just for the purpose of presenting a bit the curriculum. Um, okay, so the national curriculum includes study plans and subject-related curricula. Uh, we should uh, state that uh, the national curriculum uh, was changed uh, for the primary schools in um, 10 years ago, in 2013, uh, followed by a change in the curriculum uh, at the lower secondary level in 2017, which was supposed to be followed by a change in the national curriculum for the high school level in 2021 but uh, this was, for some particular reason, postponed. So we don't have a new curriculum uh, for high schools. We're uh, following the old curriculum, which dates back to 2000, I think, 2000 and something. Uh, which is why, in uh, high schools, we don't have this very marked focus on sustainability and, uh, you know, um, other uh, environmental-related issues. Um, anyway, the study plans uh, for pre-primary education are organized in accordance with learning activities. The study plans for primary, secondary and post-secondary education are grouped into seven study areas, which are language and communication, maths and natural sciences, humanities, arts, physical education, sports and health, technologies, and finally counseling and career guidance. Um, the curriculum is built around eight key competences aimed at personal development and fulfillment, employment, social inclusion, sustainable lifestyle, successful life within peaceful communities, healthy life management, and active citizenship. These are the, the eight key competences. Now, sustainability is included in the study plans that we were talking about uh, in uh, different formats either as compulsory subjects or as optional courses offered by schools at, at the school's decision. Uh, within the compulsory subjects, sustainability is included mainly in the STEM competencies that are targeted uh, through the cu curriculum. For instance, at the end of the fourth grade, according to the curriculum, students are expected to have developed an interest in the first uh, um, in the first part, an interest in exploring the environment in order to infer and to understand certain phenomena, processes, and scientific concepts. Uh, as well as a perception of the integrated character of the environment using instruments and specific pr procedures for the investigation of the environment in order to solve simple problems of the environment. As well as this, uh, a fourth grade should, a student should also show interest in maintaining personal health and keeping a clean environment as well as apply basic rules of personal hygiene and responsible behavior in connection with the environment. 
Now, while these uh, targets set for the primary education are also kept maintained at the end of the eighth grade, at the age of 14, we can notice a more internalized approach at the end of the 10th grade, uh, age 16, when students are supposed to think critically about the changes produced by human activity on the environment. At the end of the 12th grade, at the end of high school, that is, students are supposed to have acquired and developed the necessary competence to promote a balance balanced lifestyle, uh, balanced life, lifestyle habits and the sustainability principles. I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> there was an uh there, and this is what I was talking about. Yeah. You're doing great. Thank you, Keep thank going. you for the support. Okay. Um, so, concretely, in primary classes, students are expected to uh, recognize the consequences of a healthy lifestyle on their own body, recognize the consequences of their behavior on the environment through the recognition of different types of pollution, through direct observation, through the observation of the effects of pollution on living organisms, and through the identification of the destructive behavior of human beings with an impact on the environment. Uh, in lower secondary education, sustainability is touched upon separately in different subjects, such as biology or geography mainly. At the end of the eighth grade, the geography curriculum establishes as a specific competence to be developed the identification of solutions to protect the environment at local or regional level in the context of sustainable development. The targeted sub-competences include describing the relationship between man and the environment, explaining the connection between human action and consequences for sustainable development, devising questionnaires for the sustainable development of the hometown, of one's hometown, designing a model of organization of space in an area, a town, or a natural reserve, or a natural park. And finally, presenting uh, sustainable development project scenarios in Romania, or for Romania. Um, finally, at uh, the end of the 12th grade, the curriculum intends to develop values and attitudes consisting of respect for natural and human diversity, the preservation uh, and protection of the environment in Romania and Europe as a whole. As mentioned above, uh, before, <laughs> the reduced focus on sustainability in the upper secondary curriculum is due to the fact that it has not been changed since the 2000s. However, topics as, such as renewable energy sources are included in the study of geography and natural sciences in upper secondary education. Um, now, uh, a little discussion about green schools. Uh, the government is trying, starting uh, like two, three years ago, uh, when um, the, the topic of um, eco ecology and um, sustainability, these topics have become uh, very common and very pressing. Uh, so the Romanian government is trying to make schools uh, greener uh, spaces. As such, in 2022, the Romanian presidency launched the program Education for Climate, uh, for Climate Change and the Environment in Sustainable Schools. And through this program, Green measures were implemented in education. Some of these uh, green measures include the fact that all schools are required to organize the Green Week. So one week per academic year, during which students, teachers, even parents uh, can uh, do or should do uh, anything related to uh, outdoor activities, to preserving the natural environment, uh, becoming more aware of problems connected with the environment at local level, and so on. So each school is free to organize uh, this week in uh, the best possible way, in accordance with their possibilities. Um, uh, um, this program also included updates of the biology cu curriculum with environmental and climatic uh, concepts. Optional courses about environmental issues and climate change should be um, intensified, let's say, uh, according to the program. 
A platform has been developed with resources for teachers, students, and other stakeholders, and this is um, just for 10 seconds, I will show it to you. Okay, so this is the platform that um, schools can use. I see it. Okay, so never mind. Yeah, we can share the link like this. Yeah, so this is a platform where uh, students, teachers, and uh, uh, school managers can um, identify types of uh, activities that uh, they can uh, perform during this uh, Green Week. Anyway, I need to get out of here. Good, very good. Uh, another measure was uh, the digitalization of course books. Of course, uh, it is not 100% digital, but uh, we are working towards it, and uh, there are also uh, intentions of organizing teacher training programs in this uh, area. Now, by 2025, a network of green schools is going to be implemented in our country in accordance with an order issued by the Minister of Education in uh, 2022. A green school would be, according to their definition, the school that creates a healthy environment that supports learning while saving resources, a school that generates its own electricity and uses technologies that reduce greenhouse gases. In order to apply for this status, because this is something a school can apply for, um, the school must have renewed or modernized infrastructure should integrate elements of sustainability in the local curriculum and uh, the extracurricular program, uh, should show measures that are in line with green policies, uh, including digitalization, and demonstrate a readiness to cooperate with the community through partnerships with relevant ac uh, actors in the area of environmental protection. Okay. Now, we are getting closer and closer to the end. Uh, this is, uh, um, I'm going to show you just a couple of pictures of uh, activities that were performed in my school during this Green Week uh, that uh, took place, I think, two weeks ago maximum. I'm not sure what week this is. Okay, so the Green Week program, as we said, yeah, is a, a week during which students, teachers, irrespective of their subject, have to do environmental-related activities. Uh, this is a thematic trip, yeah, which was uh, organized uh, to, um, in a, some kind of uh, plant that uh, uh, uses waste in order to produce other, uh, you know, like compost, yeah, using waste to produce compost. Uh, then, uh, these are pictures taken from a tree planting uh, campaign organized uh, in uh, the forest near our city. And this is a workshop because there are also indoor activities. We try to keep them to the minimum, but of course, if the weather doesn't allow for anything else, we can have indoor activities in which uh, students uh, create all kinds of objects uh, from uh, recycled materials, recycled. Things. And thank you. Okay, that was it.